This exercise is about um, making uh, gradients with a filbert brush, which has slightly round edges. And the other objective here is uh, to uh, try to find um, balance in two contrasting colors. Uh, and what I mean by that is that you're going to try to paint two colors on this um, card and um, have the, uh, the contrast be absolutely balanced and perfect. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start with a light, light sort of red here. Enough to cover the whole card. Okay, the filbert brush is designed to make smooth or um, brushy edges instead of clean edges. Um, if you use a light enough touch and you go over this paint quite a bit, uh, you should be able to reduce the amount of streaks. Okay, now I'm going to clean the brush while the uh, tinted magenta that I made kind of dries. I'm going to choose a color that is opposite from this magenta on the color wheel. So opposite of any kind of red or pink is going to be something that's green in the greenish family. And you can use the color wheel that's above the sink to help you with opposites if you need that information. So I'm going to mix up a green. And what I'm going to try to do here now is balance the contrast. So I'm looking for a color that I think is going to be close in its value, meaning it's it's uh, it's uh, lightness or darkness to this pink. Now it's going to be hard to tell because when we're looking at color, we're often really not considering the value. And um, so this is, um, it's a fun exercise, or it can be a fun exercise, I think it is, to try to make um, a color that's equal in contrast and balanced in contrast to the color that's uh, on the card. So let's see how this goes. All right, now you're going to create this gradient. And with the filbert brush, you, sh you should, using a light touch, be able to fade this green gently into the magenta. By using a light touch and using that curved edge of the brush or that rounded edge of the brush, try to fade this Now we're going to see how I did. I'm going to see if I was able to get close uh, in terms of the contrast. So I'm going to turn off this light, and I'm going to use my phone now, and I'm going to take a picture of this, and I'm going to uh, remove the color on the uh, on the camera or on the on the photo rather, and we're going to see how I did. So I'm going to snap a picture. I'm going to turn I'm going to turn live off, and I'm going to snap a photo. Okay, so I cropped it, and now I'm going to edit, and I'm going to go to saturation, and I'm going to turn that saturation all the way down. Okay, <clears throat> so how'd I do? Not, not so great. <laughs> I mean, not bad, but not great. Um, the green is much darker than the red. Uh, it's darker than I anticipated, and so now... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a second one here, and I'm going to try to get it right. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the same. I'm gonna use the same magenta or, or close anyway. But uh, now this time I know I'm gonna uh, tint or add some white to my green, and I'm gonna see if I can get it. So I'm gonna um, I'm not gonna do this part on the video, but I will post the result in the assignment uh, when I put it up.